Well, the hits just keep on coming for Anheuser-Busch. According to a new report, as Sarah pointed out, uh, distributors across America's heartland are apparently spooked by all the backlash over the decision to hire Mulvaney. Now it's time for the other view where we're going to break it all down. Joining us now to discuss our panel, Newsmax contributor Deneen Borelli and Project 21 member Whitley Yates. Uh, Whitley, I'm going to start with you here. You know, it's interesting because according to the Pew Research Center, about 5% of young adults identify as transgender. We're talking about Bud Light, which is a massive brand. Um, from a marketing standpoint, uh, do you buy the CMO's argument that this is for inclusivity? I would think maybe they'd be going after um, young biological women, not after transgender women. You know, you would think so. And as a board member for our local um, American marketing chapter, I can say this is exactly what you should not be doing as a CMO of marketing. What you never want to do is detach yourself from the base and then attach yourself with something that's in misalignment with the brand because association breeds assimilation. And so if you attach yourself to a personality or a transgender controversial activist that is not in alignment with who your brand stands for in their core demographics, what you're going to have is brand confusion and people are going to disassociate as they should because they don't know who you are or what you stand for. I think that's a great point. You know, Deneen, it takes so much. I've worked in marketing in, in my past life and it takes so much work to build a brand to get your consumers to trust you. Oftentimes the product is secondary, but building that brand and that loyal uh, group of followers is key to the success of the brand. So do you think we've officially seen the toppling or the tumbling of the Bud Light brand? Do you think they're gonna have to claw their way back up? There's so many options out there in the beverage world from the spiked seltzers and the vodka cocktails and beyond. Yeah, well, the competition certainly is huge. Mm -hmm. I am a marketing major and 101 is you don't alienate your, your consumers. But in this case, they alienated the distributors, the suppliers, the representatives and the bars. The stock went down 3% yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, this new uh, marketing person, she hasn't even been on the job for a year. And her role was to try to get more female consumers to buy the product. Well, she failed because this is a guy <laughs> that they put on the cans. Yeah, P.S. Hello. This is a, a biological man. No, I think that's a great point. We also have, you know, Kid, Kid Rock showing off uh, target practice there with yeah. Bud Light. Of course, uh, Howard Stern trashed him and said, I don't get it. What's the big deal? And Travis Tritt also said, you know what, Country Star, of course, said, I'm not going to have this on my tours. But also on the other side, Pete Buttigieg, of course, uh, Transportation Secretary, his husband, Chasen, has weighed into the Bud Light controversy. He posted this on Twitter. If you're upset about a beer company supporting civil rights, you might want to start bottling your tears. LGBTQ people drink water too. Are you going to boycott that next? Um, maybe he learns, needs to learn how to write better tweets, Whitley, because I got lost on that one. He makes absolutely no sense. Right? This isn't just about someone drinking beer. It's about a brand choosing to assimilate with a controversial figure that alienated its core group of consumers. And that's the truth. They don't want, they want to make this about something that's completely different. It's not about what you drink. It's who you choose to represent you. And as I stated before, since association breeds assimilation, this was not a good association. Yeah. And, and Deneen, you know, also you pointed it out that it's really about who they choose to represent their brand. And interestingly, if they are going after younger women, uh, yeah. we've spoken before about, listen, there has nothing to do with being against transgender people. It is about also a transgender person almost making a mockery of women. Yes. Uh, and, and if you look actually on Wikipedia, Dylan Mulvaney is described as an American actress. Okay. Um, hold on. <laughs> so Pete Buttigieg needs to make sure the trains keep running on time and right. does stop derailing. Oh, Stay right. in his lane. I, how did I, how could I forget? <laughs> right. But uh, look, again, this is about a consumer product. This is a small percentage of the population that is in this category. And what the brand is doing, the company, they are alienating their base. They already have uh, trouble with the sales. And I want to know where the shareholders stand on this. Where are the board of directors? What is their view on this? 
this and how this has gone down and how this has shaken out because they're, they're driving stake through their own brand. Yeah, I think that's interesting. And, you know, Whitley, uh, we, uh, Didine pointed out that, you know, the stock has fallen a few percentage points. Things, it's hard to tell if there's been any, been any damage done, but I think it, it will play out, especially as big country stars and, and big celebrities start not even serving it at some of their tours. But from a marketing standpoint, what do you think the brand should do now? I know that's a, a multi-million dollar question if that were your job, uh, but what would you say? Yeah, so one of the first things that they need to do is that they need to issue some type of a statement or an apology and discuss what they plan to do to rectify not only who the brand is, but who they associate with, more importantly. And if they are interested in increasing their base, what they need to do is actually probably try to get a woman, biological, that supports beer, that drinks beer, and utilize her as someone to usher in a new wave or a new era or a new demographic of people that are going to be drinking Bud Light. But they're pretty far from that right now. Yeah, get, Denise, get rid of final this thoughts. new executive. Yeah, there, there you go. Uh, I'm going <laughs> to tell you what's going to happen. Yeah, all right. Uh, Denine Varelli, Whitley Yates, thanks so much for joining us.